It's one of the craziest finishes to a game in college football history. Everyone remembers it. With one second left on the clock, Michael Crabtree scored a go-ahead touchdown, upsetting the number one Texas Longhorns and giving the Texas Tech Red Raiders the biggest win in program history. Now, what many people forget is that game-winning play shouldn't have happened. What many refer to as the most important play of the game came just one play prior to the Crabtree touchdown. With 15 seconds remaining, Graham Harrell threw a pass to Edward Britton. The pass bounced off him into the air. Freshman Blake Gideon was right there, primed to make a play on the ball. Game over, Texas wins. Only, he dropped the interception. Oh, no, no, no. Interception. Game over. It hit Britton in the hand. No, they're calling it incomplete. Rule it down, incomplete. I thought for sure that he had deflected it to Gideon. Gideon dropped the easiest interception of his life. If he comes down with the ball, Texas wins, on to the next game. The Michael Crabtree touchdown the following play never happens. So what implications did that dropped interception have on not only the game, but Colt McCoy and the Texas Longhorns for the rest of the season? Before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. I post lots of great college football content, so if you'd like to see more videos like this one, this is definitely the channel for you. Also, make sure to turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Now, we'll get to the ripple effects of that dropped interception, but let's talk about the Texas season beforehand. Texas entered the game as the number one team in the country at 8-0. Texas Tech, they were having one of the greatest seasons in the history of the program, as they were also 8-0, ranked number 7 in the country. Entering the game, Colt McCoy was the Heisman frontrunner. On the season, he had 2,300 passing yards while completing 82% of his passes. 82% of his passes. He had 21 touchdowns with only 4 interceptions. He also had 400 rushing yards and 7 rushing touchdowns as well. It was a crucial game for both teams as both Texas and Texas Tech had national championship aspirations. Early on, the game was all about the Red Raiders. They led 19-0 and the Longhorns didn't get on the board until midway through the second quarter. At the half, Texas Tech led 22-6. Colt McCoy brought his Longhorns back into the game as his back-to-back -back touchdowns made it only a three-point game in the second half. A rushing touchdown from Vondrell McGee gave the Texas Longhorns a one-point lead with just a minute and a half remaining. The Red Raiders drove down the field, and then, on the fifth play of the drive, this happened. Gideon doesn't make the interception, and on the next play, Crabtree walks it off. So, what would have happened if Blake Gideon would have made the interception? Texas wins, and they move to 9-0 on the season, remaining undefeated. Of course, now, anything could have happened the following three weeks, but I think it's highly likely they still would have won those three games. They defeated Baylor by 24, defeated Kansas by 28, and defeated Texas A&M by 40. So, the Longhorns finish the season 12-0, and they likely remain the number one team the rest of the way. Meaning, they meet the Florida Gators in the national championship. Instead, the Oklahoma Sooners, who finished the season at 11-1, ended up getting the edge over Texas and made it to the championship, even though they lost to the Longhorns earlier in the season. So, who would have won if Texas and Florida would have met? Well, your guess is as good as mine. But based on how this Texas team was rolling and the teams they beat in the 2008 season, I think I would have given the edge to the Longhorns. So with that being said, the Texas Longhorns are the 2008 national champions, but they're not. All because Blake Gideon dropped an interception. Oh, but it doesn't end there. Not only did it cost the Longhorns a national championship, it probably cost Colt McCoy the Heisman. Colt McCoy finished second in Heisman voting to Oklahoma quarterback Sam Bradford, with Bradford just edging him out in points, 1,726 to 1,604. Sure, Bradford's numbers were overall better, but with how close the finish was, something tells me that McCoy could have won. If Texas beats Texas Tech, McCoy leads his Longhorns to an undefeated season and is on the best team in the country. He would have led his team back from a huge deficit on the road and pulled off the win against the number 7 team in the country. Plus, he won the head-to-head -head matchup versus Sam Bradford earlier in the season when Oklahoma was ranked number 1 at the time. Again, it still could have been a close finish, Sam Bradford still could have won, but with how close the final voting was, my gut tells me with an undefeated season, with a comeback win against Texas Tech and that head-to-head -head matchup, I think Colt McCoy wins the 2008 Heisman Trophy. Now, looking back at the game, it's not really fair to give Gideon all the blame for losing that game for Texas. Texas had countless opportunities throughout the entire game to put themselves in better position to win the game at any point, and they simply didn't. And because of that, everyone remembers the Blake Gideon dropped interception. But still, looking back at the play, if Blake Gideon makes the catch, comes down with the football, the history of college football is forever changed.